Okuma Media's Polity Am Tabi Shomunikai, Professor Raymond Sadna joins me to unpack his column titled Evaluating the Achievements and Problems Since the Establishment of the GNU Part 2. Welcome, Raymond. Thank you. You refer to some ministers in the GNU doing their job well, and some like Aaron Motswaledi being unbending and unwilling to negotiate over differences. So will this not threaten the survival of the GNU? GNU is under perpetual stress, I think. At this moment, there's stress over the national health insurance, there's stress over the appointment of a chief of staff of Minister of Agriculture, Stian Hazen, there's the Minister of Justice uh, uh, facing charges but, uh, uh, regarding the fun, funding 500,000 loan she got. Uh, now, all of these things have to be negotiated between the members of the GNU. If someone is going to be completely unbending, I think they must leave the GNU or one has to, at a certain point, if a lot of people are unbending, maybe the GNU collapses and you have to go to, I don't think it will be good. A lot of them, I think most of them recognize to have a minority government is not going to be good. So there's a, it's important to kick out some ministers if they're completely unbending or to try and force them to negotiate with others. Because the essence of making something like this work is that you don't try to force things down people's throats. You say to them, look, you are very concerned about this. This is how we will meet this concern. You don't brush aside the concerns. You talk to them. If you can modify the legislation or whatever it is a little bit, you try to do so. And I think some people, like Motswaledi, are just completely arrogant about it. And also, why does it worry you if there are 10 or 11 parties who form the GNU? What is the value of six uh, of those parties, say? It's just extra money that's being spent on ministers who don't deserve to be ministers. And... I think once you have the DA and the ANC together, you must work out which other parties have got gravitas, carry weight, carry uh, the public sense of esteem and keep them there, even if they've got 2 or 3 percent or a very small percent or 5 percent. But uh, I don't think it's a, it's a good idea to have people with less than 1% or 2% there when they don't have a contribution to make. You know, there's some people who come from small parties who ha carry gravitas, who uh, speak in a way that is carefully considered and so forth. And some who may not be speaking at all or you don't know if that nothing's been reported because they've said nothing or that it's not been of consequence. So I feel it's top heavy, too many people there. They didn't need, it doesn't convince people more to have parties with 1% there. And Justice Minister Tembi Melani has been involved in a controversial loan from a man who is now on trial in relation to the VBS scandal. So do you agree with the way this issue is being handled? The ANC, it's an as an ANC matter, the rule that they now have is you don't have to step aside till you've been charged. Now, uh, Tabo Mbeki was arguing the other day that the moment there is uh, an allegation which is very serious like this, um, you should step aside. And given the position that she holds as Minister of Justice, People are concerned that the NPA are involved in a prosecution and the NPA falls under the Minister, the Department of Justice. So that, first of all, there's that question, what she should be doing and what the ANC should be requiring. People will say she's not a minister of the ANC, she's a minister of the GNU, which brings us to 
the president. What is the president talking to her about? If he's been talking to her, what is what are they saying? Why do we not know? What is the reason that the public is not taken into confidence in things like this when it is a very serious matter? I mean, there's 500,000 loan and she paid interest of about 278,000 or something like that. And it's there's something very strange about this. And she was then mayor of uh, the Pulukwani, wherever the VBS falls under. And uh, they were not supposed to be, they're not supposed to have been investments in the VBS, but it was under her watch that that happened. So all of these things, I feel plain open with the public is what we need. If a, if a government has got nothing to hide, it has done nothing wrong, they must explain. This is what I said to the Minister of Justice. This is what she said to me. She refused to answer some questions, and I think that also creates a bad impression. And lastly, Raymond, in this column, you refer to the high levels of corruption in local government covered in reports of the Auditor General, but also that public-spirited individuals and organizations are often stepping in to do what government fails to do. So are we not creating a situation where government failing to do its job is being condoned? Yeah, well, it's a similar question to before, except it relates to the resources of local government being depleted for the floods in KZN, uh, for water that's polluted in various places because of corruption. And you know, there's very few local governments who get a clean audit. And it's very important that that be attended to. Uh, and while it hasn't been. People have not got clean water. And people, like organizations like Gift of the Givers and some public spirited people are doing things which are really the job of government. Now, in the area where I stay, uh, you've got these, uh, they're not pavements, in the middle of the road where there's grass and all of that. And members of the community have got involved in trimming these things, making them neat and all of that. And I think it's good because it creates a sense of community uh, and it should be done by government. But while it's not being done by government, these people are getting, uh, they're investing themselves in the future of the community and they will watch very carefully what is done when government does take uh, take over what it's supposed to do. So it is a uh, it is true. Government must still do its job, but you don't want people to be not getting things for their sustenance. Uh, I mean, the flowers, the grass, and the flowers are a different matter. But some of these things are life threatening, and they must be attended to. In the meantime, if we have other ways of doing it. That was Professor Raymond Svatna speaking to Criminal Media's Polity about evaluating the achievements and problems since the establishment of the GNU Part 2.